All right, guys, this is Mithril back with another Tiny Tina's Wonderlands Legendary Item Guide video. And today we are here in the overworld, as you guys can see, right by the God's Well. And I'm pretty sure we need to go right over here to this dungeon here for the Magical Splotch. Is that the name, the Magical Splotch? Yes, the Magical Splotch. I'm pretty sure it's this location here. So let's enter. And so, of course, I will cut and come back to when the magical splotch does appear. Because I'm pretty sure most of this is just going to be mob work. Okay, it looks like the magical splotch has appeared. Let's see here. It looks like we did not get anything. Okay. So anyways, the item we are looking at today is the bad egg. It's a peng goblin or pangolin shield, whatever you want to call it. Isn't this the same as the ancient deity? Oh no, it's not. What does this look like then? The afterburner? Is that what it is? Something. I think it's the afterburner, right? It's got the thorns, it's got this, it's got the mushrooms on top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it might be the afterburner. Okay, so we've kind of seen this before. Like I said, it's a pangolin or a pangoblin, whatever you want to say. Its red text is, the Skuck's life chose us. Skucks. No idea. Uh, anyways, the unique ability of the bad egg is, the bad egg passively grants a plus 20% movement speed. Okay, if you're doing some sort of farming. Very nice, or speed run. Very nice. Then while the bad egg is depleted, your melee damage deals plus a 35% bonus dark magic damage. Alright. Not uh, not too bad. You get movement speed and then your melee gets more damage, basically. That's uh that's pretty good. Let's see. So you can get it in all elements, it looks like, all resistance types. But I'm pretty sure it's stuck to dark magic as your damage. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. All right, let's take it off. I feel like nothing has changed. Oh, that's the ancient deity. Yeah, I feel like my movement speed is still the same. Do you have to have it depleted to get the movement speed? Because here on Loot Lemon, it does not say that. But here on the card says differently, I believe. So I, it may have to be depleted. Uh, is there a way to deplete my shield without killing myself? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Alright, let us go and I guess test it out on some bad guys. Okay, now I'm here at the Shattered Grave Barrow at the Grave Nave. This is what I'm rocking. This is a very melee-oriented build. That's why I'm using this build for the bad egg, because, you know, you get more melee damage. And then the movement speed isn't half bad. Then I do have 10 points into the beginning of each of the myth rank items, and chaos 20. Let's not hold the live wire. Let's see here. How much am I going to do before they deplete my shield? What was that? 28k? Come on. Come on. I want to see the movement speed difference. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely running faster. Alright, so to get the movement speed... It does need to be depleted. 
16k dark magic. I wasn't looking at the dark magic when I originally hit the skeleton, only the actual damage I was doing. Let's see, that was what? About 13, it looked like? About 1300? Hmm, it's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard to tell. That was about 8,000. Uh, that didn't have any dark magic on it. Don't die. Hmm. Kind of hard to tell. Six thousand. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, but that's basically the basis of this shield. You just get your movement speed and your increased dark magic melee damage, which... Hey man, if you're running a melee build, pretty good. I don't think it's half bad. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That's basically going to be the end of this video. Well, actually, hold on. I suppose we can go test it out on a boss. Okay, now I'm here at Tangle Drift. What's left? Driftwood. Let's jump across. And not fall down. Alright, I'm curious to see. How much does one swing do? Okay. Hmm. Now let's break my shield. Yeah, how much? It may be hard to tell, but kind of looks like we're doing more damage. I don't know how much. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That's basically going to be the end of today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because of on my channel, and I will appreciate it like always. And then, let me know, did I use this item correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't, make sure to let me know. Because then I'll do a part two on it. But for now, all I really can say is, I hope to see you guys next time.